For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're stopping in Illinois to meet one of the nation's best volleyball players. It's a school with an origin that goes all the way back to 1846. While its name and location have changed over time, Mother Macaulay has a proud history of education and athletics in the city of Chicago. Well, I believe we still are the largest all-girls Catholic school in the nation. I was a graduate here and a player here, and so this school means a lot to me as uh, not only a coach, but as a mom and as an alum. One of the words that we use to describe our program is tradition. And while tradition is uh, hard to build up in a program, it's hard to break down too. The school has seen several generations of mothers and daughters come through and maintain its standards of success. And Ellie White is a young lady who is certainly doing her part. Her mother Colleen also played here, and that helped Ellie get started on her journey. She was my first ever coach in fourth grade, so I was really just born into this sport. I mean, I grew up playing multiple sports, but volleyball, I think she really just drew my inspiration to it. I mean, I loved having her as a coach, and she just motivated me to always do my best too, and she was obviously hard on me, and I think that's also why I'm hard on myself these days. It's been a, a blast being able to be in the gym with my girls, so we never force or, or make anybody play a sport that they don't like, but Ellie has always been somebody that loved the sport and had fun. You could just tell at a younger age, she didn't like to lose and she was very competitive at everything she did. Ellie's been coming to camp since she's been in first grade here. So we've been waiting and watching Ellie develop and become the great player she is since she was probably six years old. Ellie's been a varsity player since her freshman year. Since that time, she's accomplished quite a lot. As a sophomore, she and her older sister, Grace, led the Mighty Max to a state runner-up finish. Last season though, Ellie took her game to another level. She won the Illinois Gatorade Player of the Year. She was named an All-American by Max Preps, and she led Mother Macaulay to its 16th state championship. We all knew what we wanted. We knew what the goal was. And so even in summer workouts, like we knew we wanted a banner in our gym. Then getting that was kind of just like, like wow. It was just kind of like a relief. And then being Gatorade Player of the Year, I mean, there's really nothing better than that. <laughs> she is the kind of player that I can talk to about changing something in a timeout. We can talk about adjusting something or doing something that we haven't practiced and she can just take it in and actually just get out there and do it without even practicing it. That is like a 1% type of player. I, I could say in my 28 years here, I probably had five of those type of players and we've had some pretty great talent here. Besides the obvious talent, the thing coach Jen DeGerald may admire most about Ellie is how selfless she is. While her future in the game is likely as a setter, Ellie's been asked to play outside hitter and other positions for Macaulay. And her coach always knows what her answer will be when she's asked to do something for the team. Okay. 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 Coach Gerald always laughs about how she tells me to do something and my response is just, okay. Like I'll always be willing to fill the role, any position. I mean, I just know I'm not a, like a selfish person. I just try to do it for my team and that's like the biggest and most important thing. If I need to move her anywhere, if I need her to, to change anything or step up in a role she hasn't done, her answer is always the same. Okay. Ellie will probably give the same answer to her college coaches. Next year, Ellie will be playing in the Big Ten and she's given her commitment to the Michigan Wolverines. Obviously my main goal was where is my home going to be, like what, where do I feel at home? So I think walking into Michigan, I mean the atmosphere, whether it's in academics, athletics, like it's all just very rich in tradition and just the people too. I mean, I have, there's a great coaching staff, the team is awesome, so I'm just excited to be there. Her ceiling is so high. I am so excited to see what her role will be. I know that they are recruiting her as a setter. I mean, the potential for her to be one of the best in the Big Ten is right there for her to take. When Ellie moves on, the traditions at Macaulay will continue, but she's done everything she can to ensure the next generation knows how high the standard will be. She volunteers a lot with our grammar school tournaments and clinics and she on her off day comes into our little kids 11 year old practice and they're just swarming her taking pictures. I think it's so funny because Coach Gerald just tells me like they're so excited to see you like they gasp when they see you. I just try to be the best role model I can be. Well, I just find it so great that these little girls have found something in Ellie that inspire them and they look up to her. She's just a, a really good, smart, intelligent, humble kid. And I think if you ask her teammates, they would tell you that as well. Ellie loves for 
others to succeed along with her. She just really has a good heart and her personality is infectious and so many kids just want to be Ellie White. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.